in uh, today's lesson here, we're going to take a look at a word problem. In this word problem here, what we have is we have a sheet of metal that has dimensions 20 by 28. So you've got yourself this sheet of metal 20 by 28. Let's do a rough sketch. And what they tell you here is that you want to create an open top rectangular box by cutting equal squares of size X uh, out of each corner. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be cutting out squares out of each corner as follows. And every single one of those squares are going to have a length of X. So these are all X's here. By cutting those out, you create yourself a rectangular box looking something like this. And they tell you in the question that the volume of the box is 924 cubic centimeters. And they want you to find um, what is that X value here that we need to cut out such that when I fold up those flaps, it creates a volume equal to 924. Well, the first challenge is to find the dimensions of the box. So the idea here is if the total length of this side, let's say, is 28, and I'm cutting out these two x's, you're going to be left over with 28 minus 2x as the dimension of one of the sides of the box. Likewise, if the length from here to here is 20, and I'm cutting these out when I fold the flaps up, this length here will be 20 minus 2x. And lastly, the height of the box is going to end up being one of the flaps, right? If you cut this square out, cut this square out, cut this square out, cut this square out, fold up those flaps, the actual height of the box itself is x. So that means we have an equation now. I know the volume is equal to 924, but that's just the product of these three sides. So we have the following equation. Now, normally at this point, we want to solve for x. We would expand everything out, bring everything to one side, and try to factor it. But before we do that, we can impose some conditions and constraints. Because now this is a word problem, I know that each one of these terms must be positive. They represent length. So therefore, from here, I know that x must be greater than 0. I know that 28 minus 2x must be greater than 0 which implies negative 2x is greater than negative 28, or x is less than 14. And lastly, 20 minus 2x must be greater than 0, or negative 2x must be greater than negative 20, or x must be less than 10. So putting these con constraints together, I have x is greater than 0, less than 14, and less than 10. So the combined constraint is... So the combined constraint is x must be greater than 0 and less than 10. So now let's go ahead, we're going to expand this out, bring everything to one side, and uh, take a look at using, probably have to use the rational root test here, so let's do that. Alright, so uh, what I did here first is I distributed my x uh, into one of my binomials here, expanded everything out, collected like terms, uh, and then I just divided across by 4. Now looking at this here, I don't see factor by grouping working, I do not see any sort of factoring technique, so I'm going to go right to the rational root test. If you need a refresher on the rational root test, I'll link that in the top right-hand corner. But uh, the idea here is now we need to find all the factors of 231. So if you look at the number 231 here, we know 231 is equal to 3 times 7 times 11. So by the rational root test, we have the following possible rational roots. And you'll notice here I have the prime decomposition of 231. That allowed me to find all possible rational roots, all the factors of 231. Notice I omitted any minus values because really the rational root test will say plus or minus all of these values. I kicked out the minus signs because that relates to, le to length, so we need positive values. Now right away we can omit a bunch of these because we know that the x value, the constraints, if you remember, if you take a look over here, the constraints were greater than 0 and less than 10. So these values here we can omit. So now we just have to go through synthetic division on 1, 3, and 7, hoping for a root. Doing so, we get the following. And right away, we tried at 1, uh, does not work. Try synthetic division at 3, and we actually do find a root here. So we have the following decomposition of our polynomial. So one of the roots, one of the x values is 3. Uh, we have to take a look here at this quadratic uh, and see what happens here. We check the discriminant to see if this has any real roots. Calculating the discriminant, we get. And we can see here the discriminant is greater than 0, so we're going to have uh, 2 irrational roots here. Using the quadratic equation here, we get 16.27 and 4.73. You can see here the 16.27, that's inadmissible. Again, reminder, the constraints are be greater than 0 and less than 10. So we have one possible value is 4.73, and the other possible value was the root we had before, 
which is right here at uh, x is equal to 3. So our answers are, so either we're going to get here 3 or 4.73 approximately. Doing so, cutting out the squares, again, remember the original question, if we go up to the top here, either 3 or 4.73, those are the size of the squares you can cut out, which will create a volume equal to exactly 924 cubic centimeters. All right, thank you.